Today, we are taking a quick look at the Taclite Iris infrared monocular. Now, in this video, we're not going to be providing any sort of generalized usage tips or guidance. Uh, this will be more of an overview of both the exterior and the firmware of the Taclite Iris. So, let's get started. You'll notice we have three controls on the side right here, right? We have a power button, a mode button, and a menu button. Simply hold down the power button to power on the device. Once the device is on, all you're going to have to do is simply tap the button and that will turn on the separate reference laser. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys. Tap the button, the laser will come on. Tap it again, the laser will go off. This device has three modes, video, photo, and playback. If you want to cycle the modes, you're just going to tap the mode button. Now we're in photo, now we're in playback, tap it again, and now we are in video. This button right here will be used to access the internal menu. We tap it, we can access some configuration settings, and if you want to go through these, you'll use these arrow keys right here to go up and down, and then you'll use this enter key on the top to make your selection. Moving along to the front of the device, you'll notice that we have this flashlight. This is the infrared illuminator. To turn on the infrared illuminator, you're simply going to tap the up arrow key. You can see we have it turned on. This has seven levels of brightness to it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you'll notice on the screen, it will indicate seven. And if we hit it again in the upward direction, you will notice that it simply resets to off, okay? Up here, you're gonna notice we have a focusing ring. On previous models, the focusing ring was the objective lens. That is no longer true with the iris, okay? It has a dedicated dial, which is right here, and honestly, it makes the device quite a bit easier to use. Moving along to the underside of the device, you're gonna notice standard threading for a tripod, and down here will be the utility port to access the USB Type-C charger and also the memory card. Now, there's no real reason you'll ever need to use this or even know about it, but this right here is going to be the cover for the rechargeable lithium ion battery. Again, very unlikely you'll ever have to tinker with this for any reason, but perhaps it's good to know. Standard hand strap right here, fully adjustable, and back here you are going to notice that we have the screen. This device only has two settings, or two controls rather, okay? We're going to have the brightness of the infrared illuminator, which we already demonstrated, and then we're going to have digital zoom. To activate the digital zoom, you're just going to hold down the button, okay? Either up or down. If we hold it down, you'll see the crosshairs become active, and then we can zoom all the way up to five. And of course, we can reverse that back out to zero. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is an infrared monocular, keyword monocular, which means there is an optic in here. This is a three times magnification fixed optic that cannot be adjusted. The digital zoom, however, can be using these controls that we just explained. Have a nice day.